This is Matt Rausch, Technology Editor at WWJ News Radio 950. I'm here today with Paul Risner, who is the president, and Jim Risner, who's in the uh, photo right now. He's Director of Sales with Op Solutions of Northville. This is a company that's developed a really interesting technology in terms of uh, quality improvement and cost avoidance when it comes to manual assembly operations. And what they're essentially doing is projecting uh, instructions on how to assemble parts onto an operator's workstation in a factory environment. We've got our little mock factory here in the WWJ uh, conference room. And as you can see, uh, th this projector right here is uh, basically set up so that it's projecting uh, instructions on how to build this part right into the workstation. That would take place in the factory, right? That's, That's correct. correct, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now you're being told, uh, install spacer into nut face, and that's what you're doing right there. And it tells you right where to put it, see the little flashing light. And then you confirm on the uh, keyboard that you've done that, and it tells you the next step. And as you can see, it says select these parts right there, so you've selected those. Confirm that, and then it tells you, oh, okay, well you're supposed to assemble them <laughs> over here. So you've assembled them, and it tells you once again with the light flashing, put them right there. And those uh, recorded instructions are very important, I guess. There were some problems with these parts uh, that necessitated some very expensive warranty repairs, so that's why the voiceover was there, to avoid that, right? Sure is, yep, yep. The audio uh, provides another level of uh, airproofing. Okay, and this is a little bit more complicated assembly operation, so projected onto the work uh, area by the video, we have, um, er, by the uh, projector, rather, we have a video of how to do it. So... Okay, there, okay, he's following instructions very well. He's got it assembled. Mm -hmm. This is a fuel injector that they're building, by the way. Select the valve nut that goes over the top of everything. And it shows you where to put it and what direction, even what direction to screw it in there. Okay. And so then at this point, Matt, torque gun would come in and yep. provide a final torque and angle, and that would confirm to the next step. Okay, and there's your, uh, there's your assembled fuel injector. Yep, we would test it and place it in the car. All right, and you've already, uh, um, you, you've, you've already got sale number one of this technology, right? Who's, who's the first customer going to be? Uh, yes, Life Fitness. Uh, they're located in the Chicago area. Uh, we're in the uh, quoting process right now, so uh, we feel that uh, probably by the uh, uh, end of April, we should have our first installation. Okay, and that's the uh, manufacturers of the life cycle, right? So yep. they're, they're going to be telling life cycles. Yeah, that's they're, correct. They're going to be telling their people in their factory operations at workstations, you know, obviously bigger than this and a little bit more industrial than this. How to build the the, uh, the treadmills and life cycles, right? Exactly. Yep. Yep. For that, but it's going to be a part kitting operation there. So uh, they'll help them pick parts. They got a supermarket of parts bins, so uh, should help their operators reduce errors in the part picking process. Okay. And uh, is there a website where people can go to learn more about this technology? There sure is. Yep. yep. Okay. It's uh, www. OPS-solutions.com. Okay, so www.OPS-solutions.com. Correct. All right. Thanks, Jim Risner, Director of Sales at Op Solutions of Northville. Thank you very much, Matt.